Hello everybody, it's Blockhawk, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Modrant application. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to this link in the video description, and this is the main website where you download Modrant. So from here, you'll see where it says download the Modrant app or more download options. If you have a Windows computer like I do, you can just click this download the Modrant application button. If you don't have a Windows, you can click the more um, button and it will show you all the different versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, so you want to go ahead and just select whichever computer version you have. Um, but anyways, I do have a Windows, so I'm going to click this green button right here. So it's going to go ahead and download the application. Now what you want to do is just double click on this right here. And now you want to click where it says next. And you want to click next again. And you want to click on where it says install. And it'll go ahead and pop this up. Do you want to allow the app to make changes to your device? You want to click yes. And it'll go ahead and install. And now you can click the finish button. And it'll say launch the Modrinth application. Alright, so there we go. Now as you can see, we have it launched. It may ask you to sign in. Um, and there might be like a little code that you have to type in. But that is pretty much all you have to do in order to download and install Modrinth. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, once again, if it does ask you to sign in, just go ahead and sign in with your existing Microsoft account. And you should be alright. Um, you may also want to use Google to sign in. Because I had a little issue where my Microsoft account wasn't working. So I just clicked the Google button and it let me sign in and it still somehow linked everything up so um, it's that's pretty simple to do um, the sign in part it is just gonna ask for your email address and your password for your existing Microsoft account though um, but like I said that process should only take about two minutes and that's pretty much all I have to do so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and have a great day